before we start to put the movement back together again, I'll show you how to put the, the cap onto the, the mainspring barrel. This is a preferred method for doing it, much better than whacking it with a hammer. Put the cap on and push it down flat. I've got it down the end down here. And then hold that with your finger and your thumb. Open your vise. Put the barrel in and then slowly tighten the vise. Yeah. Tighten it up a bit more so it doesn't move. Undo it. Hold the part that's just come in. Put it in again. Tighten the vise up. We've got one to go. It's slightly out up there. Turn it round. Tighten it down. One to go is slightly out. All right. I didn't hear that pop in, so that's probably why. Right, let's check that. The cap's not fully installed yet, so I'll put it back into the vise. Press it down. Set the bottom piece that hasn't been closed up yet. Having the rubber. Bungs on this makes a difference. I just felt it drop in then. Tiny little bit over there. If I didn't have, there we go, it'll pop in. If it didn't have these rubber bungs on here, those pieces on there, it would have gone straight, it would have gone in straight away. But it's moving slightly with that. Now the other thing we'll do, wind that in a bit, I mentioned it before, you have a look, you can see that the winding arbor has been bit out of shape in a few places. When people have just thrown a key on it and wound it, they haven't put the key in fully. So what we'll do, is we'll rest that on the vise and I'll run over the face of the winding arbor to the file draw filing it and not hacking it like that draw filing it from one end to the other a far more efficient way of removing metal. Turn it round. As I'm removing metal you can see the shiny part that's coming up. And you can see how bent and twisted it is. Right, that's two sides. Do the third one. This one's not quite so bad. The main problems are right down at the end there where people have just dropped the key on a quarter of an inch or less and started turning instead of pushing the key right to the full length of the winding arbor. That's looking better. They're square now, or a damn size squarer than they were. So, do a final touch up the full length over here. And 
the last side. Right, I'll do the other two off camera. That's the strike side. Ready to roll. I'll do the chime and the going side mainspring barrels. We'll get them done the same way. Square up the arbors, the winding arbors, and then we'll come back and start putting the, the movement together. Right, we'll start off with the, the going side mainspring barrel. We'll put that in the back plate first. Goes there. Now the strike side. Mainspring barrel again. And that goes there. Now the chime side barrel. Just goes there. Now we we'll run up the going side train first. First wheel goes there, oh, second wheel, the first wheel in there, second wheel. And it's getting a bit, a bit hard to see in there, but that's uh, the escape wheel. If we can get it to, into its pivot, would be rather nice. Now on the strike side, we'll put the first wheel in. It's got him. Then the star wheel. Goes in there. We'll leave the warning wheel and the fly out of that side until we get the top plate on. They're quite easier to put in once that's done. It gives us two fewer ones to manipulate for a start. Top plate goes on now. wheel aligned. Once that gets into the lower seat down a bit we'll have a better view of what's happening. There. That's caught up. All right caught up on that. Second wheel on the, the chime side is catching that up. Alright, well, take the escape wheel out for a moment. So we have to get these other pieces in. We can put the other ones in individually as we get there. Now we've got to get this guy in. Very close, but not quite. Have we got a... Nope, not quite yet. That up. That up a little bit. Now, see if we can get this guy in. Oh. Dropped in easily before and it's been hard to get on with now. Let's 
Where's that got? There we go. Got him. Finally got him. Okay. There we go. Put the escape wheel in later on. It's the top of the train, so that's not a problem. I'll put a couple of nuts on these pillars. It's a bit tight. That'll hold top bottom plate together while we start putting the pivots into the bushes and getting them aligned. Mm. All right, where's our driver and we'll get that in a bit. That's better. Those other two nuts aside. Those too tight, we just want to hold them, the plates together. Right now, we can start looking at putting pivots in the bushes, get the gathering pallet aligned. It tends to have a longer pivot on it and needs to go in first so you don't break it off. Now, we can start looking from the back and see what. We've got here, one's in, one's in, and first wheel, not quite. I've noticed that the pivots on the wheels at the between the bottom plates of this movement the pivots are actually shorter than the wheels pivots at the top of the movement. Consequently, when you're trying to put them together, the bottom ones tend to fall out while you're installing the top ones, which are longer. This wheel almost in anyway. Very close. Is that? That's in. That down there's right, that's okay, that's done. Now, I think we've got to get that guy down there. All those. One, two, three, they look. One. Second wheel. And I think there's one the first wheel in here is being hard to get on with on the going side not quite in its pivot yet in its bush I mean Is that got a yeah that's better hmm first wheel Star wheel's a bit loose, so it means you've got something over this side here that's in place. Star wheel come up a little bit. It's not. And that right now. We'll put a nut on that pillar there. Hold that very loosely, but hold that for a moment. We we'll go and investigate over the other side and see what's not in its correct bush. Right, the other one will go over here. Now we 
stinking chick. Whoop! Hmm, that was a bit loose, wasn't it? If you like this video, please share it with your friends who would also enjoy it. If you want to learn how to service, repair and restore 19th and 20th century mechanical clocks, then subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. Good morning.